another video it's your girl Shade and based on the title I know and you know that this video will be very interesting <laughs> to all my new squad members welcome 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 please remember to hit the subscribe button and click the little notification bell beside so that you will be notified when I upload as the regular Lab Squad members know by now, I'll be uploading twice a week. <laughs> so you'll be getting videos on Sundays and Thursdays. You guys are getting double the fun, double the education. Try to ensure that your notifications are turned on so that you will be one of the first to watch the videos as they come out. Because you know, like when things fresh, right? Alright, so I'm not even going to talk too long. I'm going to dive straight into this week's video so as you can see this week is educational you know all work and no play makes lab squad a, a dull squad yeah as you can see on the table i have five urine containers with five different shades of urine these aren't the only possibilities of your urine color these are just the five more popular ones that I'll be showcasing to you guys so we're going to start from the lighter color all the way down to the more exotic colors all right so let us begin how many persons actually look at their pee before they flush leave a comment down below if you look at the color of your pee before you flush now, most of us don't give much thought to it. We just pee, flush. Before we get into it, let us just define the term urine. So everybody know what we're talking about. Urine is medically defined as a liquid byproduct of the body secreted by the kidneys and it is done through a process called urination or micturition. It is then excreted through the urethra. All right, guys, so that is the medical definition of urine. A colorless urine indicates that you have been drinking way too much water. You should not be looking in the toilet after you pee and be like, I don't even see anything. Did I pee? No, that is not the goal here. The reason why a colorless urine is not ideal is because it can it means that you are over hydrated and this can result in the decrease of electrolytes in your body resulting in electrolyte imbalance urine that occasionally look clear is no reason to panic but if your urine is always clear this could indicate that you need to cut back can you imagine you actually need to cut back on how much water you are drinking. We've gotten transparent slash colorless urine out of the way. Let's get into our top five urine colors. This is the ideal color of your urine. All right, guys, as you can see, it's just pale yellow. This is how your urine should look. All right, so this basically means that you are well hydrated. Your bladder is in good shape. You have a healthy, normal bladder. That's what this color is. And that is why this is our goal standard. This is the color that we should strive for, for our urine to be. All right, so keep it up. If this is your urine color, comment down below. Keep it up. You are doing a great job and continue. All right, you are drinking enough water and your bodily processes are improved because you are well hydrated. Good job. Now, going down the spectrum, we have dark yellow. Hmm. You can see. If the color of your urine is dark yellow, it is still normal, but it also suggests that you are mildly dehydrated. 
So basically, the darker your urine becomes, the less hydrated you are. So if you notice that your urine is getting darker in color, that only means that you should be drinking more bottles of water. So you see, it's a, like a relationship going on. So if your urine is getting darker, you drink more water. <laughs> I love so loud recommend. So just to recap, if your urine is this color, which is a dark yellow color, you need to be drinking more water. You're basically going to dilute it to this color. And when you reach here, you stop. You don't want to go into the clear section. I oh, already explained that. So that's that for the dark yellow color. The color of typical urine normally falls within the shade of yellow. You normally form either light yellow, dark yellow, amber. You're basically going to have majority of urines in the world being yellow. Now, the darker yellow you are on that spectrum means that you need to be hydrating more. All right, so that's the take home point about that all right so and why is why is that why is most urine yellow no let me go to that no a pigment by the name of urochrome that is natural in your urine becomes more diluted as you drink water now what is urochrome urochrome is produced by your body breaking down hemoglobin the protein that carries oxygen in your body. And my last squad members were already done talk about hemoglobin when it is that test. So you guys are following where I am going. I am hoping. <laughs> so basically, your probe is produced when your body breaks down hemoglobin. And in most situations, the color of your urine will be dependent on how diluted this pigment is. All right, you can also have urine being a neon yellow, like it glowing in the dark. Like if you turn off the bathroom light, you should see a urine same way. <laughs> it's shocking, it's out there. No, this occurs when you are taking too much B vitamins. So you have too much B vitamins in your bloodstream and this can cause your urine to appear neon yellow. Now going down, we have orange orange urine if your urine appears orange it could either be due to medications or medical conditions medications that can turn your urine orange include some anti-inflammatory drugs some laxatives or certain chemotherapy drugs medical conditions on the other hand that can cause a orange urine this usually indicates a problem with your liver or your bile duct, especially if you have light colored stools as well. Bile may be getting into your bloodstream and because of issues with your bile duct or liver, adult onset jaundice can also cause a orange urine. All right, guys, so if your urine is orange, you might want to go to the doctor, check it out because maybe something is wrong with your liver or your bile duct. Moving down to a red or pink, depending on your screen, urine. Now, what causes a red or pink urine? Of course, the obvious answer is blood. Everybody knows that. But actually, let me just say, if your urine is red, it may be a cause for concern. Now, Despite the alarming appearance of a red urine, it isn't always a serious issue because a red or pink urine can be caused by foods. Basically, it isn't always serious because you do have foods that have a lot of red pigment in them. For example, beets. Everybody know beetroot? I don't like it though, but that can cause your urine to appear red. Basically, examples of other foods that can cause your urine to appear red are blackberries, berries, rope hard, can also turn your urine red or pink. Medications can also cause your urine to appear red. Medications such as those used to treat tuberculosis can turn your urine reddish orange. Also, laxatives, 
containing senna. So you know a lot of the laxatives out there contain senna pods. They can actually cause your urine to appear red. And now to the most obvious answer, blood. Blood in the urine is termed hematuria. In some cases, it can be a sign of infection. It can be a sign of kidney stones or even a tumor present in the urinary tract. It can also signal that there may be a problem with the prostate. Now, this is a huge red flag <laughs> and it should never be overlooked. If you notice blood in your urine, please visit your doctor. Now on to the most exotic one of them all, blue or green urine. Now, yes guys, you can actually have blue or green urine. Blue or green urine can be caused, of course, by food coloring. It can also be the result of dyes using medical tests performed on your kidneys or bladder. Green urine can be caused by medications or medical conditions. So there are numerous medications out there that can actually result in a blue or green shade of urine. No medical conditions. No, just so that you guys can actually go out and research this disorder and realize that you do actually can have blue or green urine and I'm not telling any lies. There is a disorder by the name of Familia Benign Hypercalcemia. Now, this is also sometimes called the blue diaper syndrome. And the reason for this name is because children with the disorder do have blue urine. Alright guys, another medical condition resulting in blue or green urine is the bacteria Pseudomonas aeruginosa. If you do have this bacterial infection, it can cause your urine to turn blue, green, or even indigo purple. Now, don't be go trying to get this bacterial infection now because you want to have this exotic color of urine. I urge you to resist the urge. <laughs> All right, guys. So, the, my, the main reason for having this color urine, though, is due to your diet. So, the other the medical conditions associated with this color urine are rare. So, the chance of you having it is basically because of something in your diet. All right, guys. So, in most cases your urine should be in most cases your urine should result back to its normal color within two or three days so if you notice that it is going on and your urine isn't reverting back to your pale yellow that is when you need to go and see the doctor so when do you go to the doctor if you have red color urine and you see visible blood that is the time you go straight to the doctor. You don't need to wait two or three days. Contact your doctor. If you have orange color urine as well, it might mean something is wrong with your liver. So I urge you to go straight to your doctor to get it checked out. All right, guys. But chances are, as I told you, most of these are because of colors and highly pigmented foods in your diet or because of dehydration. So if you are drinking enough water, you should be able to see and tell and feel based on the color of your urine. Alright guys, so that was the end. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, this is just the tip of the iceberg of urinalysis. And if you stick around, hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, you will be notified when next I post, which is on Sunday, and you can keep up in the future for when we post part two of our urinalysis series. All right, guys, I really hope you guys learned something. I really hope you guys start watching the color of your urine when you pee so you can notice when something is off or when you are keeping up and you are on track. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below and tell me if you knew that you could have blue urine. And remember, do not go try get the pseudomonas just so you could try. <laughs> you don't need to prove it. You can do the research. Alright guys, so bye. I'll see you guys on next Sunday when next I upload. Hi, let's go bye. Let's go bye. Let's go. I'll see you on Sunday when next I post. Bye. What is the color of your urine? Is it pale yellow? Is it dark?
circular? Is it orange, red, or blue? Comment down below and tell me what's the color of your